What's going on guys? It's time for the first offseason episode in this Vikings franchise. We have just finished year one, finished with a 7-9 campaign, and now we are ready to go to the offseason and start rebuilding this team, fill in some more holes, and do the draft, free agency, and all that fun stuff. So we'll see who wins the Super Bowl, we'll check all the statistics and everything, and then we'll advance to the offseason. All right, so now let's check out the standings. The Steelers and the Ravens are going to the playoffs. Steelers got home field advantage. The Titans are going. The Patriots are going. And the Bills get a wild card spot. The Chargers win the AFC West and the NFC North. Two 10 and 6 teams are going to the playoffs. The Bears and the Packers. The Falcons get home field advantage in the NFC with just the 11 and 5 record. We'll go to the NFC East where the Eagles win that division and the Redskins get the other wild card berth. And in the NFC West, the Seattle Seahawks tie with the St. Louis Rams and go to the playoffs with an 8-8 record. All right, so now we will check out the statistics for the Minnesota Vikings this year. Ponder filled in for McNabb once we cut him, and he got six touchdowns, six interceptions, and 1,300 yards. And, yeah, these stats are going to be a little weird because I messed around with so many slider sets. Adrian Peterson could have had 2,000 yards if he didn't get injured. He got 16 touchdowns on the season. Receiving, leading receiver was Vasante Shanko, only 32 for 319. Jenkins with 31 for 500. We got to get a true number one receiver, and hopefully the statistics look more realistic after this year is done and we get to next year. Lone hold up, 14 sacks. You got to be kidding me. Defense now. Greenway with 102 tackles. Tyrell Johnson with 91. EJ Henderson with 82. Leading sack totals are Robison and Williams, each with 14, and Jared Allen with only 7 because I guess the right end position doesn't get as many sacks in Madden. I'm not sure why. Tyrell Johnson with 5 interceptions. Winfield with 4. All right, so we will check out the overall NFL statistics now. When Aaron Rodgers was the leading passer this year with 4,200 yards, 34 touchdowns to 7 interceptions. Check out the running backs. And Adrian Peterson was on top of Darren McFadden in second place by over 300 yards. And he also missed some games at the end of the year, the only running back to average over 100 yards a game. Go to receiving. Marcus Colston is your NFL leading receiver with 113 catches. Stevie Johnson with 109. Wes Welker with 107. And Larry Fitzgerald and A.J. Green also got over 100 catches. On defense, Patrick Willis has the most tackles on the year with 158 and the most solo with 116. Sack leader on the year was Chris Kelsey of the Buffalo Bills with 22, Chris Long with 15, Joey Porter with 15, Robinson with 14. And now we'll go to the kicking. The best kicker this year was Steven Goskowski, and the best punter was my Chris Cluey. Kick return leaders this year. Best average for a kick returner this year was Antonio Brown with 29 yards a return, two touchdowns on the season. Punt returns, Devin Hester, five punt return touchdowns. That has to be an NFL record, 18.6 a return. We'll check out the team statistics now, and the San Diego Chargers finish with a number one offense. Top passing team was the Indianapolis Colts. Top running team was the Minnesota Vikings. Highest scoring team was the Green Bay Packers. Most passing touchdowns go to them as well. We get the most rushing touchdowns. The Detroit Lions let up the most sacks. And the top defense was the Baltimore Ravens. The best against the pass was the Pittsburgh Steelers. And the best against the run was the San Francisco 49ers. We'll check out the yearly awards. And Aaron Rodgers is your NFL MVP, beating out Manning, Roethlisberger, Rivers, and Cutler. Offensive player of the year is also Aaron Rodgers. Defensive player of the year is Chris Kelsey. Offensive rookie of the year goes to A.J. Green, who amassed over 100 catches. Defensive rookie of the year goes to Ryan Kerrigan of the Washington Redskins. Best quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. Best running back, Adrian Peterson. Best receiver goes to Wes Welker. Best offensive lineman goes to Marquise Pouncey. Best defensive lineman goes to Israel Adonage. That's kind of surprising. Best linebacker, Chris Kelsey, who led the league in sacks, obviously. Rondé Barber was the top defensive back in his 14th year in the league. Best kicker goes to Alindo Mare. Coach of the year goes to Mike Tomlin. All right, so we'll check out the playoffs now. And the Chargers beat the Ravens on Wild Card Weekend. The Eagles over division rival Redskins. Titans beat the Buffalo Bills. And the Packers beat the Seattle Seahawks. In the divisional round, the Steelers beat the Titans, Falcons over the Eagles, Patriots over the Chargers, and the Chicago Bears knock the defending Super Bowl champions out of the playoffs. 
to see who goes to the Super Bowl. We see the Steelers knock off the Patriots, and the Atlanta Falcons beat the Chicago Bears. In the Pro Bowl, the AFC knocks off the NFC 27-20, and now for the Super Bowl. Steelers and Falcons, and the Steelers win the Super Bowl in the first year of this Vikings franchise. And Alright guys, well when I edited this video down, it ended up being a little over 5 minutes, and so I'm going to split the videos in two, so the offseason is all by itself. And once that video is up, I will link it in an annotation in this video. And so if you see it now, the video is up. I'll get it in here as soon as I upload it. I plan on uploading these on the same day. So I'll catch you guys in the off-season episode. I'll see you later.